All right, everyone, welcome to my next YouTube video. This is going to be a really fun one for me, at least, to relive these memories and experiences. So uh, welcome to my Briar West 2024 experience video. Recently, within the past few weeks, I traveled to Denver, Colorado to attend Briar West, which is an event that Briar puts on kind of as a, a mid-year celebration, hobby gathering before Briar Fest. It's a much smaller uh, event than Briar Fest is. Maybe, maybe only a few hundred people wind up going. Um, there's fewer activities and different activities from those offered at Briar Fest. Um, only one special run model, not the plethora of special run models offered at Briar Fest, and, and so on and so forth. We could sit here and talk about the differences between the two all day. Um, this was my first Briar West experience, and let me tell you guys what, um, I can't say that I enjoyed it more than Briar Fest, but I mean, I'm almost there. It was so much fun. Um, it was just so different and so much more low-key. Briar Fest is just such an insane week, and it is. It's so much fun. And again, I, I won't say that I enjoyed this more, but I enjoyed it probably just as much, but for different reasons and in different ways uh, than what I, the way that I enjoy Briar Fest. We'll we'll leave it at that. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this experience. Uh, I'm gonna do this similarly to how I did the Briar Fest experience video, which is kind of just a montage of all the media that I took, video, photo, what have you, while I was there. Um, and we're just gonna talk about what happened each day. So this is gonna be a lot of voice recording and me just telling you my stories. So sit back and get a snack and um, enjoy. So Briar West takes place in the winter months. Uh, this year it was mid-March. I believe it's typically been in March. Maybe it's been in February a few times, but um, this time it was mid-March. And mid-March in both where I live, which is the Midwest, as well as the West, where Colorado is, uh, it can be a little bit dicey in terms of traveling and weather. And sure enough, uh, that wound up playing a large role in the start of our Briar West adventure. Um, Colorado was expected to get a massive snowstorm the night before we were supposed to fly out and into that next morning when we were supposed to be landing. And so at the last minute, um, I was able to drive a situation that allowed us to leave a night early and we went ahead and, and we went with that option and thank goodness because we did get to Denver on time and it looked like what you're seeing in a lot of these photos and videos uh, very 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 snowy and the snow had just started right after we landed like there was not much snow on the ground when we landed and by the time we got to the hotel there were a couple of inches on the ground and then when we woke up in the morning even more snow so that was the, the the entrance into denver welcome to colorado there's there's snow here um we tried on thursday to do a few activities and quickly learned that denver shuts everything down when there is snow on the ground um in michigan yeah we get a lot of snow but stuff doesn't shut down people just kind of drive through it for better or for worse and that did not appear to be the case in Denver. Everything was closed. Even the Chick-fil-A was closed, which was kind of my point of reference on how dire the situation was. Um, for a Chick-fil-A to close in Michigan, I, I don't know how bad it would have to be. Real bad, real bad. So anyways, we drove around a little bit, did a little tour of downtown Denver because nothing that we wanted to go to in downtown Denver was actually open. Um, and then we wound up watching some clinics actually at the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo, which is where Briar West is hosted. There's an arena um, that had clinics and activities going on all weekend. So we wound up watching some clinics for the Extreme Cowboy Race, which was really cool and very educational. Um, these folks were beginners, they were learning. So it was actually 
good to listen in on for somebody that also doesn't know much about the extreme cowboy race. Got to learn quite a bit. And fun fact, when we were watching these clinics on Thursday, uh, one of the instructors was actually the gentleman that owns Checkers, who was made into a briar horse. And uh, he mentioned Checkers a couple of times throughout the clinic. And at one point he even said, yeah, Checkers, my briar horse. And it was very, very cute. Okay, so now we are on to Friday, which is probably the day that I have the most content from. So I will try to keep my voiceover of this section short and sweet. Friday was for the Briar West Open Show, which for me was going to be, you know, probably the big highlight of the weekend. Um, I love, love, love a good live show, and this was only my second ever live show that was put on by Briar. Um, I was so excited because Heather of the Mares in Black was uh, managing Briar West and the Briar West open show this year. That was actually one of the things that made me really excited to go to the event because Heather's amazing and she did such a great job with the show. She and all the volunteers and all the judges, the judges were amazing. They were all so kind and gave really good feedback, which was awesome. You don't always, you know, always get that uh, because show days can be so hectic but they were all so kind and made sure that they you know, answered questions and gave feedback and talked to everyone and were just so friendly. It was such a nice, refreshing live show experience. And I'll just share some photos uh, that I took throughout the day of other people's models and performance entries and amazing customs. Um, and yeah, so enjoy these because I certainly did.
All right, and then as for my own placings and performance in the open show, I'll talk just a little briefly about this. I had such a good day at the open show. I brought only my minis, mostly due to logistics. And also with the Briar shows, you do have a limited model count. You can only bring a certain number of models. Uh, in the case of the Briar West open show, that number was 50 this year. So I like to put all of my eggs in one basket, so to speak, when it comes to a show like this and kind of throw everything I have at one division. Uh, so I did so with Mini and it definitely paid off. Uh, I wound up having, I think it was about 15 models uh, get NAN cards, uh, about half, if not a little bit over, the, over half. So 25 plus of my models placed, which was awesome to do, especially at a Briar show. Um, I had two sectional champions, both my uh, whip from Briarfest 2023 and my moon pie, the uh, event model, both got uh, sectional reserve and sectional grand respectively. And then my moon pie actually went on to be the overall grand champion of the OF mini division, which was such an honor. Uh, it's still a little bit surreal. Uh, that one of my horses won a title like that. Um, I My goal was, you know, I would have loved to have gotten a rosette that had the Briar logo on it at some point this year, whether that was at West or Fest. Um, presumably that would have been just a sectional champion, but to have gotten numerous sectionals and an overall at the first of the two Briar shows that I'm gonna be attending this year was really, really, really exciting. Um, really awesome. I, I put a lot of time and effort and planning into my live showing and when when you have results like this it, it makes all that time and effort feel very much worthwhile. I mean you got to enjoy it regardless because this doesn't always happen but it really is fun when it does. It was a really cool experience and, and very exciting hobby moment for me. And then here are also a couple of shots of the Region 8 girls that made it out to the Briar West, all of us Midwesterners in the West showing plastic horses. Um, four out of the five of us got on airplanes with our plastic horses in, you know, suitcases and carry-ons. And then one brave soul drove. Um, and we just, we had such a great time all weekend. All right, and now we are on to Saturday. Saturday was much more laid back than Friday. Friday was kind of balls to the walls, showing things all day. <laughs> and then Saturday was a little more laid back. Um, I did a workshop uh, with Sandy Sanderson that was how to build or building Southwestern bases. Uh, I'm really interested in performance and have absolutely no idea where to even begin with a lot of stuff like this. So it was super educational for me to take this class with her and to kind of just get a base understanding of how to even go about building uh, a base for a model horse or for a performance display. Uh, it was really, really fun. I would love to experiment more with stuff like this on my own someday. I don't know when that day will be, but it was super educational and I'm really glad I did it. I also walked around the expo itself a little bit this day and got some free goodies and saw some cute animals. Colorado is definitely a, a Western focused region. Um, I know if I went to any kind of a horse expo near me, it would probably be more English heavy, but again, that's a, that's a re regional uh, kind of preference there. Um, you know, when you think Colorado, you typically think more Western riding and Western disciplines. So it was, it was awesome to get some exposure to that as uh, I don't get very much of that in, in my English riding circles. And then Saturday night back at the host hotel was the swap meet. I didn't find anything overly exciting at the swap meet for myself, um, but I did pick up a couple goodies and, and filler pieces that I had been wanting to add. And I know my friends had a really exciting night. They got a new sculpt, a new resin sculpt. Um, and I know they're both painting him themselves. I'm very excited to see how those turn out. So. I was very excited for them in, uh, in that and uh, it was really cool to see just a different set of, of sellers, new customs, uh, new goodies that we just 
don't see in region 8. Um, if I had to uh, guess, I think that you know, Colorado is maybe a little bit more performance heavy than we are in the Midwest. There were a lot of people selling performance props, performance dolls, stuff like that, and you simply would not see that uh, at most swap meets that we have in, in Region 8 or in the Midwest area. So it was really cool to see different stuff. Okay, and then Sunday was the most laid back day of them all. I didn't have anything going on on Sunday. Uh, a couple of my friends had a workshop in the morning, so I took that time to paint myself a little stable mate. Uh, this is actually the first stable mate or model that I have ever painted, <laughs> which sounds sad. I've been a hobbyist for, you know, a number of years now and I'm super involved in the hobby and I had never painted a model before, which is which is just silliness. So I'm glad I got to sit down and, and paint this little guy. He's supposed to look like a mini Duwamish. Um, I was literally using Duwamish as my reference photo when I was painting this guy. Um, I have yet to get a picture of them together, but I definitely want to. Obviously this was just for fun, but um, yeah, I want to see them together because why not? And then we ended the day with watching the actual competitive extreme cowboy race that they had on Sunday in the arena next door. And that was pretty much it, folks. That was my Briar West experience. It was so much fun. There was so much to do. I had such a great time spending time with not only my friends that came from the Midwest, but also friends from the other side of the country that we really don't get to see very often. And then of course, meeting new people and making new friends. I had such a great time with all of you guys this weekend. It was, it was truly a blast and I definitely want to do it again. Who knows what the future holds, but I would 100% go back to this event. It was well worth all of the efforts that we made to go and the folks at Briar, they, they put on a great event for hobbyists to connect with each other and learn and grow and enjoy and appreciate our model horses. So if you can ever go, I definitely recommend it. And that is all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed just a little peek at what Briar West is like and what my experience looked like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I want you to see